It's the Warsug Films Variety Hour. Starring Mike Subjack, Tim Watson, and Don LeBlanc. Featuring J.A. Latona, special musical guest, Crimson Nightfall. And now your hosts, Mike Subjack and Tim Watson. Welcome to the War Sub Films Variety Hour. Tonight, we have another special guest, actor Christian Bale. He's not here in the studio, but we have him over the telephone. He's currently researching a film role in Detroit. 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 Damn it. Fuck's sake, man, you're amateur. Uh, can we just move on? Anyway, Christian will be with us throughout the night, so stay tuned for that. You like Huey Lewis in the news? What? What does that have to do with anything? And why are you suddenly talking with an American accent? Your early work was a little too... new wave for my taste. But when sports came out in 83, I think they really came into their own. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh. You can't be sneaking up on old homeless Homer like that, children. I think you're the goddamn reptilian trying to steal my grilled cheese again. Because they are bringing their anti lactose agenda to new heights these days, you know. Now, uh, before we begin today's show, children, I want to give a special thanks to our sponsor, General Electrics. Because they're downloading our every thought and watching every move that we make in those special cameras that they have implanted right in your television sets. So I think it's only right that we give them a special Shout out. <laughs> oh, God. You'll have to forgive all homeless Homer children. I think I had a little too much cough syrup. It's the only way I can drown out those Y rays that they keep beaming into my skull on a nightly basis. So we have a really great show ahead today, children. We're going to have Officer Dan in studio. And he's going to be here to explain to homeless Homer and to you, children, why homeless Homer is no longer allowed to sleep behind the laundromat. Well, cheer or something, you little bastards. Have a little respect for your elders. What? Well, you better spread the word on you miserable little faggots. Yeah, you can't say faggots. What? Who do you think you are? You can't tell me what I can and cannot say. What do you think? You're the reticulin run FCC trying to control every thought, trying to control our lives with that goddamn elevator music that's 
emanating from all the streetlights. You can't fool homeless Homer. I know what's going on here. You may have thought you could fool me, but you can't. Uh. <laughs> We're also going to be doing some arts and crafts. Now, they may take your knife away at the Y, but they'll never take this. Especially if you shove it up your ass. But we can get to that later. And finally, we're going to have a wonderful performance, children, from my good friend, Lemon Nelson. Now, Lemon, he's a blues man. And he was wiped out after his wife divorced him. Or he's lied to homeless Homer, and he's just been a meth head his entire life. But children, none of that matters because Lemon Nelson plays a mean harp. What does that say, you two-timing bastard? No. Oh. Now apparently, children, Officer Dan is gonna be a little delayed in getting into the studio. He's breaking up a crack den on the other side of town. And some of homeless Homer's friends are going to be getting some jail time. So let's move on to ours and crafts. Homeless Homer will be right back. Okay, we're back. Got Christian Bale on the line. So, Christian, we uh, saw Terminator Salvation over the summer. Oh, good for you! And how was it? Yeah. You're unbelievable, man. You're unfucking believable It does bring up a good point, though. In both Terminator Salvation and Public Enemies, you played characters who are really ancillary to the other characters in the film. Why are you taking these high-profile but low-substance roles? Because I want you to fit in. Did you just switch back to an American accent? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, then. Moving on. Up next, we have a musical performance from Crimson Nightfall. We shot this over the summer at Skate Fest in Dunkirk. But be warned... Their audio mix was a little off, a little wonky, so it does sound a little raw. Take it away. <laughs> 